Compulsion Games comes out of the gate for the first time on next-gen hardware with their brand new game, Contrast. Does this charming and noir-style platformer have what it takes to stand out among the rest? Let's jump into it and find out. What are you doing here? My mommy's coming. You better hide or she's gonna catch you. Okay, sweetie. Night-night. Contrast has you playing as a character called Dawn inside a curious world where you are an imaginary friend to a little girl named Dee Dee. No one but Dee Dee can see you and you can only see Dee Dee and the shadows that are the other people in the world. You go through the events of trying to help Dee Dee save the relationship of her family by helping her stepfather build a circus whilst in search of Dee Dee's true dad. As the plot thickens, as they say, it becomes drastically apparent that something is very off about the world, but unfortunately, even though it's shown visually, it's never fully tackled in the story, leaving the ambiguous world up to your own interpretation of it. The story doesn't seem to quite nail the atmosphere, much like Pan's Labyrinth was able to, which this game was heavily inspired by, and it leaves much to be desired. Never's a big word. Feels like I heard it before. This time you're gonna be nothing but proud of me. Look at this hotel suite, I got investors. The ones you just left? Yeah, I'm real proud. There's no denying that Contrast has an amazingly well-realized world to look at. At first you see that everything is quite normal, aside from the fact that you can phase in and out of walls and that you can only see people as shadows. Until you bump into something like a massive hole in the world. It's almost like the ambiguity of everything in the main plot and the fact that no one really acknowledges the world's destroyed is what really throws you off and gets you very much into the idea of contrast. It doesn't hold your hand and tell you to look at the world and see everything's destroyed and oh my god, zoom in, explosions, things like that. No, it lets you find it out for yourself without warning you, and it's one of the greatest feelings I've had in a game where I in no way could expect what was coming next, and the surprising factor felt very satisfying. The soundtrack is also very fitting with the fantastic jazz music and circus music in their contextual areas, not to mention expertly done and the voice actors from Deus Ex Human Revolution make their return as some of the voice cast in the game, like your stepdad, Johnny voiced by Elias Tufexis that played Adam Jensen. That's my plan. I've got to convince your mother. Is she here? No, I snuck out. <laughs> oh boy, you're growing up fast. As for the PC port, it's pretty bad. Three presets for graphics and a choice of resolution, and that's about it. At least it has multiple audio sliders, which is great and something that every game should have. And it does run very well, so that's a plus. The keyboard and mouse controls felt fine, although for all platformers I prefer using a gamepad, and also the keyboard and mouse are not rebindable. You won't be able to find anything different here than from the consoles, aside from the fact that it most likely will run better on the PC at a higher frame rate. As Dawn, you will be able to traverse both the Shadow Realm in 2D gameplay and the normal 3D world. With that, you are able to manipulate light to allow yourself passage to different locations on the map, which helps add in that visual element to the gameplay. It felt good figuring out ways to complete puzzles using light and shadows from objects in the world, and it made it for a very interesting experience. There was one very exciting moment that reminded me very much of Limbo, where I went into a shadow puppet show as a princess getting chased by spiders and saving a knight that wanted to be my one true love. This was possibly the best moment in the game, but it ends so quickly that it left me wanting more and more I did not receive. Sadly, that quickly gets clustered in with frustrating and uninspired box puzzles, which really did not seem to fit into the game at all. It's almost like the developers spent all their time making an amazing world that they forgot to put in the gameplay part after halfway through the game. I found myself getting frustrated even more at the later unexplained puzzles that just appear out of the blue with no warning whatsoever putting me into positions of hyper confusion. There were also very frequent moments where my character would freeze in animation which also added to the problems of the gameplay. The character Dawn just never felt like a proper character for jumping either, and the way that you jump just feels awkward and inconsistent. 
I found myself missing jumps repeatedly even on my second playthrough because of the way how the jumping felt so sluggish and inaccurate rather than snappy and precise. But even after all the times I did get stumped, I was able to press on and complete the game in just 2 hours and 30 minutes, which is incredibly short for a $15 title on Steam, especially with so many other great puzzle platformers out there for so much less. You, I'm damned if I will lend you the time of day. Alright, I'll get you a check. Cash. Cash, don't worry, I'll call you tomorrow. It's been such a pleasure meeting with you. Thanks for the drink. Contrast is an undeniably beautiful game with a great concept behind it. But with the lackluster story and the much to be desired gameplay, Contrast falls short of something new and not becoming what it was hoping to be. A three out of five. Thank you very much for watching my review. Of course, if you have PlayStation Plus, which you get 30 days of on the PlayStation 4 purchase, you can pick up the game for free. It's certainly worth your time on there, but there's just so many better platformers out there like Braid and Limbo on Steam for much cheaper. Pick it up on a Steam sale if you're interested in giving it a look. Other than that, subscribe for more content. I'm Akabane101. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.